what was supposed to be a night of celebration. They're hanging out, eating, you know, enjoying each other's company. All started to change when Jason Hunt joined the party. I saw him as a neighbor and just, I had to welcome him. We are concealing the homeowner's identity at his request. He says he was talking to his neighbor Hunt in the front of the house. Then, video shows Hunt entering the home uninvited, but they still welcomed him. Uh, I fixed him a plate of food. Uh, he said he loved the Mexican seafood that we had that we had made. Another video shows Hunt inside the home with the family seemingly happy before suddenly it all went wrong. Next thing I know, I turn around and he's already pointing a gun at somebody's back, you know, in the back of his head and he started shooting. But I could hear the gunshots. I could hear them over and over. A family friend was feet away from Hunt when he started shooting, working his way from man to man. He knew what he was coming for. He knew what he was ready to do. He was there to kill us all. The shooting unprovoked. And the biggest question that remains is why? You know, I, I feel like this guy just had mental issues that, that nobody addressed. See, days before the shooting, Hunt posted this to his Instagram page. The caption, reading in part, quote, getting ready to celebrate our Independence Day. Who's with me? You know, it, it, it seemed like he had, he had intention of hurting somebody that we... Now, two wives are widows and six kids will grow up without a father after a senseless attack. After Hunt shot six people in the house, family members were able to subdue him and kill him. And if you would like to help out some of the family members impacted here, there are multiple GoFundMes. And we'll have linked to those online at 12news.com and the 12news app. We're in surprise. Michael Doudna, 12news.